Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to Fitness Fridays week number five. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that I'm not in my Chandlings top this week, I'm in my England rugby top. Now that is because this weekend, the Six Nations starts. So, a bit of a challenge for you if you wanted to do this at home as a bit of extras, as well as doing it as a Fitness Friday. Record yourself in your rugby team shirt. Now, it doesn't matter if it's not from a Six Nations country, so England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, France, or Italy. doesn't matter. You can be from any country you want to, but let's get involved, and you could record yourself doing um, Fitness Fridays, or just a workout, or this workout, or any of my workouts. Send them in to us, um, and we'll have a look at them. It'd be really good fun to share some of our fun rugby shirts and ideas with each other. So this week, as ever, we're going to vary it slightly. We're probably not going to need the rugby ball, so I'll get rid of that. What we are going to do is we're going to work out for 35 seconds, okay? Eight exercises as normal, 35 seconds of work. This week, 25 seconds of rest, because we're going to be using um, a variation of exercises that are going to really test our body's ability to just keep working through and burn through. And of course, as always, Purpose of Fitness Fridays, get those heart rates up, and get ready for the day. So what we're gonna do this week is uh, we're gonna start with running on the spot like we always do to get our heart rate going. Then we're gonna do lunges. We did those a couple of weeks ago. And then we're gonna do push-ups with the shoulder taps. Now those look a little bit like this. So you're gonna go down into a push-up position. I'll just make sure you can see me in the camera. So down into a push-up push position, okay? We're gonna go shoulder tap, shoulder tap, push-up, okay? So from the front, you can see me here, we're gonna go shoulder tap, shoulder tap, and a push up. Now, if you can't do the push up, that's absolutely fine. You can just do the shoulder taps. Absolutely fine with me. Those ones do actually really get your heart rate going, so we like those a lot. After that, we're going to do uh, some bicycle crunches, so working on our abdominals. Then we're gonna go back to running on the spot, okay, and get heart rate up again, because we're gonna be pretending like we're rugby players this week. Then we're gonna do some toe touches. Okay, we did those last week as our warm-up exercise. Then we're gonna climb the rope, then we're gonna finish with some mountain climbers. So all of these exercises are really gonna get our heart rates up this week. Now the bicycle crunches, I'll show you um, when we get to them and our exercises. So I'll put our little timer on. I'll get myself into position. Now we're gonna be getting ourselves ready for 15 seconds. Now, of course, as always, Running on the spot, so we'll get a nice little countdown in a second. I give myself a lot of space in the hall, which is fab. Okay. So, okay, straight into it with running on the spot. Now, what's really good about this exercise is it primes you not only really well for the rest of the day, but it acts as a really good warm up to go into the rest of our exercises. Okay? So it really works our arms and our legs, and most importantly, it gets our heart rates up for the day. We've got about 10 seconds left. Okay, so still, as always, bouncing on the balls of our feet, okay? Bouncing on the balls of our feet. Okay, good. So, what we're gonna go into next is lunges. Okay, so we've done a lunge before. We're gonna come forward with one leg. We're gonna lunge like that, bounce back up, and then we're gonna go onto the other leg. So we're gonna alternate our lunges, okay? Don't worry about that. If you can't do it, don't worry. But try your best. If you can't do a lunge, do a squat, okay? So, go. Lunge, lunge, lunge. Good. So now, really try and keep your balance, keep your core nice and tight, and keep your back straight. Now, don't overstretch, but don't go too close, because you won't be able to go all the way back down. So if you look at me from the side, Go out, and down, and up. Down, and up. Really drive back with this leg, of your forward leg. Okay? Good. Keep going. Three seconds. Whew, we like that one. Okay, good. Now, push-ups with shoulder taps. I will do these from the side so I can show you. So remember, we're gonna go into the press-up position. Right shoulder, left shoulder, Push up, right shoulder, left shoulder, push up. I should be saying left shoulder, right shoulder. I'm thinking in arms, okay? So we're gonna go down into our push up position. Okay, left shoulder tap, right shoulder tap, push up. Good, right, left shoulder, right shoulder, push up. Now if you can't do them, you're finding them a bit difficult, go onto your knees, lean forwards like this, 
tap, tap, push up. Okay, but I think we can all do it properly. If you really can't do the shoulder taps, just do push ups, okay? So you just go like that, okay? Just do push up. But tap, tap, push up. Tap, tap, push up. Tap, tap, push up. Good. Woo, that's a hard one. Okay, bicycle crunches. Onto our backs. Lying down, feet in the air. We're gonna crunch with our opposites, okay? So, we're gonna go crunch, 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 okay? So, okay. And touch that elbow to the knee, okay? Now, if you can't do it, that's okay. You can just try going like this. And up. Put your shoulder on the floor. And up. And tight, keep a nice tight core. And down. And up. But if you can do it, into that, call it the dead bug position. Hands behind your head. Crunch. 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 Like I said, like that. Okay? Good. Well done. Good effort, four exercises out of eight done already. Going back into running on the spot now, then we've got toe touches, then we've got climbing the rope, then we've got mountain climbers, so let's get ready. Whew. A lot of body weight in this, it's a difficult one. You're doing really well. Shake it out if you need to, drink of water if you need to. Okay, so back to running on the spot now, let's go. You know what to do here, so just power through. Just get those arms and feet moving, okay? Nice light feet, okay? So don't go forwards, don't go backwards. Just stay nice, running on the spot, okay? Heart rate, control your breathing. Alternate your arms, so right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Keep working, nearly there. It's a good one. Five seconds to go. Good. I was gonna keep that heart rate going. So we're gonna do climb the rope next. We know we're gonna to have to climb the rope, okay? Like running on the spot. We're gonna be, hoo, 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 hoo. okay? We've done it before. That's what rugby players do. Imagine the last 10 seconds of play. You're gonna score that try. Keep pushing through, keep burning. Three seconds, two, one, go. Okay, climb the rope. Off we go. Oh, climbing that rope. Climbing that rope. All the way. All the way. All the way. Good, 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 good. Keep going. Well done. Doing really well. Really well. Whew. Five seconds. Oh, shoulders are burning. Okay. Good stuff, keep going. What have we got left? Toe touches, got some toe touches now. So done these before, arms out wide, feet shoulder width apart, touch the toe, touch the toe, like that, okay? Done that before, get some water if you need to. Well done, keep going. Sorry, I have got my giant big shorts on, okay? So that's not all England gear. Off we go, arms out wide, down, 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 down. Down. Keep that core nice and tight. Nice straight back when you do it as well. Okay, good. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, working hard. Getting that heart rate up. Ready for your first lesson today. I'm sure your teachers can't wait to see you. Oh, okay. Right. We are going to finish on a big one, okay? We're gonna finish on mountain climbers, but with a jack, okay? So we'll do 10 mountain climbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then we're gonna do two kicks out, okay? So you know what the mountain climber is, so you get up in the press up position. But what you're gonna do when you get to the end, then you're 10, watch me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Two, back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. One, two. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. One, two, three, four. Oh, my feet are slipping. Five, six, seven, one, two, four. Now, that was a hard one. That was a lot of cardio involved in there. So my breath certainly, and my heart rate's definitely up and I'm feeling myself needing to catch my breath. So hopefully you should be too, okay? Well, nothing more to say than well done. That was a fantastic effort. That was a really hard one this week. So you should be proud of yourselves. Um, I hope you can watch some of the rugby this weekend. I'm sure you have. I'm sure there's Lots of fans from different countries are all going to be watching today, so it'll be really fun. Get involved, you know, get your mum and dad to watch with you, brothers and sisters if you fancy. Put your favourite rugby shirt on. Maybe do my workout at half time. There's a challenge for you actually. See if you can do Fitness Friday workout in half time, so in between um, the first half and the second half of the game. Other than that, have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you next week for Fitness Fridays. See you later, guys. Bye.